Hello guys, today we are going to try to automatically find and replace a part of the text on a page where we have big amount of content. This first part of the video is an example of doing this on the classic WordPress editor. This tutorial is also very useful when you migrate a website from one to another domain name and you need to change the URLs in your content when the plugin that you use to change the URLs does not do that for you. We are going to use Tiny MCE Advanced Editor tools to do this. This plugin has many options that can make your work on pages or posts easier. I mostly use it to save time while creating tables and editing them, since it has many table properties options. I also use it to add superscripts and subscripts in the text. Now let's say we have a big content page and we want to change the X, Y, Z wording found in the text in the whole page. We should use the edit tab of the new line of tabs and click on find and replace. Then write the word we should find and write the word that should take its place. Check the match case option and click find. Then replace or replace all. Replace button will replace one by one. Replace all will do the job on the whole page. Close the window and don't forget to update. In this second part of the video we are going to use the find and replace option on a page which is created with Visual Composer. This procedure works with most of the page builders so you can learn how to change texts or URLs when you use a page builder in this tutorial. Let's say we have a large page and we want to change some URL or part of the URL that is used many times in the page. We don't need to do this manually. We can open the classic mode editor and use the same procedure to change some URL. Find the part of the URL we want to be changed. For example, the HTTPS protocol part or part of the link and replace it on the whole page. Update the page while you are in the classic editor and when it updates, check your changes in the page builder. Before doing something like this, it is smart to have a draft backup of the page created with Yoast Duplicate Post plugin. Try to install Tiny MCE Advanced Editor plugin and review its options. It can be very useful to you. Please subscribe.